Hi and welcome to the Lime Chronicles. Um, I want to first give you a little update as to how I'm doing. Uh, unfortunately, everything seems to be getting worse um, in terms of pain, energy, um, and exhaustion. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself more and more in loss of uh, autonomy. Um, walking has become particularly difficult. Um, driving is difficult as well. Um, anything like holding up my cell phone, if I ever do talk to somebody on the phone, even for a very short period of time, I'll just put it on speakerphone. Because holding my hand up like this, I mean, by, by now it's, it's painful and, it, and it's pulling me down. Um, so I believe I'm, I'm experiencing a Herxheimer reaction, uh, which was very much to be expected. Um, which essentially consists um, of the fact that when all the antibiotics kill off bacteria and yeasts as well, um, that causes a lot of release of toxins and poisons inside the body and the body needs to get rid of that. Um, some people have, do it better, some people's bodies are better at detoxification, some are worse. We suspect that my body is not the greatest, it's something that we're going to want to be testing for uh, eventually. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I, we were expecting that I would get, um, this detox reaction as we say. Um, so as expected, things are getting worse before they get better. I don't know where it is that, um, this is taking me. Um, for now I'm appreciating what I do have as much as possible. Um, and in moments where I have find that harder then I reach out to, um, friends and family. And that's something that's been extremely important for me. Um, going through something like this, through this much pain, and and also with the frustration of of, of the disease and the frustration of uh, of the controversy around Lyme disease, and and just with being so incapacitated and not being able to uh, to walk where I want to do what I want, um, being stuck home a lot makes it really difficult to. to um, to deal with alone. It's actually quite impossible. Um, and I think it's something, it's a topic that I, I want to talk, touch on a lot. Um, on this blog is the need for support for, for people who go through illnesses like this, through chronic illness, and especially, especially through chronic illness that is undiagnosed because there's, um, as much as some, it's difficult for me right now, um, I would, I would give anything to take back the 12 years where I um, was told that it's in my head and not believed and not not taken care of the way a civilized society should take care of its sick patients. Um, if 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 we can consider our, our healthcare system a civilized system, um, so so on that note, yeah, I hope to to dedicate a whole portion on on the need for for support. Um, and advocacy on, on the part of people who are close to people who are ill um, as well. Um, it's something that I've thought about um, a lot, that sense of, uh, of when you talk about your illness, it's hard for, for people who listen to you not to take what you take, uh, what you say as something very subjective. And as much as people, it takes a really, truly compassionate, um, strong, intelligent person to um, really believe um, symptoms when somebody's telling them, a lot of people tend to kind of brush it off and, and, and assume, assume that there's at least some part that is exaggerated or that it's not always like that or it's not quite as bad. And, and I think um, when you have people in your life who can speak up for you and, and who say it, um, then it's seen more as purely objective. Um, and it's a topic that I, I, I'm going to want to discuss later. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and that it's sunny like it is here where you are. Bye-bye.